Hi guys, uh, training video today on how to use the tool store, the tool star auto poster for Facebook. Um, I used to use Hootsuite. Hootsuite's a great tool. I highly recommend it. But if you guys are on a budget, this app <laughs> is very affordable. Very affordable. For the lowest membership, it's two dollars and ninety cents, which I'm using, and you get a post in three hundred groups. The way it works is you schedule your post. Let's say you have two hundred groups. You schedule your post for ten a.m. Well, Toolstar has it, so you're not going to get flagged. Basically, they're sending your two hundred groups in thirty group intervals. So. At 10 a.m., your message is going out to 30 groups. Then at 10.30, it's going out to 30 groups. 11 o'clock, 30 groups. And so on until that cycle of 200 groups is finished. So then you can reschedule another set of messages. But what I have been doing, I schedule my, I think I have 240 groups right now. When I get more, I'll upgrade in the next package. The highest package is like a thousand groups, and it's like twelve dollars. But I think you could probably schedule a thousand groups, and it would go out all throughout the day, every half hour. But Toolstar told me that you can post to a hundred groups every half hour. Well, this is way under the radar. I still get leads off it. Um, Thirty groups a day, or 30 groups every half hour. So for $2.90, what a value. What a steal. I highly recommend it. I'm not going to post an affiliate link. I don't want any money from it. But anyway, I'm trying to find you the spot. Oh, here it is. I'll just go to sign up even though I'm already a member. Register using Facebook. No, that's not going to do it. See if I can get back now. Okay, there we go. Anyway, you're going to get the gist. When you register, you're going to see three different options for memberships. Uh, you guys can pick whichever one you want. I'm just going to show you how to use the app. So I'll sign in here. And this is what you're going to see when you first start. They're going to have you set this up in the developer app stage in Facebook. It's very simple. It's not tough. Uh, it, it basically goes through here and it shows you everything you need to do to hook it up. And it's an easy process just following the instructions. Very, very simple to set up. So. When you want to go to your groups, you go to Dashboard, you go to Groups Manager, and by the way, when you install this on your Facebook developer app uh, page that you signed up for and you put this all this coding in there, there's only like three lines of coding that you have to put in the Toolstar, I'll show you how to do. This is running from your Facebook account. So basically, uh, you shouldn't get shut down. You should be fine as long as you stay with that 30 group limit, which they have already set for you. Now let's say you want to add groups. This is going to pick up what groups are on your page. So if you have 5,000 groups, it's going to pick up all 5,000 groups. So anyway, on the lowest level, you can only set up one category. and the other ones, I think you can set up three or more. So on the lowest one, you just do default category. If you want to add groups, and hit the plus sign. And right here are all your groups that you're in. And as you can see, if you click on it, it'll show default category. 
that means it's set up to post in these groups. And that's on the right hand column here. And as I can see, I do have a few here. So just highlight them in the right column, check mark them there, and then go up and add groups. I'll go back in, I'll show you the top three. You should now say, yes, default category. So I'll go back. Let's say you want to delete. Just click default category and go to this little red trash can symbol. Click on that. And whatever you want to take out, just highlight it. You get the gist. Highlight it and then hit remove groups, which I'm not going to do. And it'll take it off of the default category and it will not post in that group. All right. So go back to groups manager. Let's say you want to set up a message. Just a message with no picture. You can go here. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do this. You can basically go here to your message up in the top. Go to where it says your ads. Hit the plus button. And then you can copy and paste or type in whatever you want for your ad text. The ad name, it is required to put it in. I already asked, and you have to put it in. So basically what I do is I put Jared Myers Marketing on there. Or you can put whatever you want on there, your fan page or whatever. And then you hit Save. Okay? A message and picture. I'll delete one of these so we can go in and look at the other one. You can edit this, you can only preview it, which I really have no idea why. It's basically the same setup. It's going to have a spot for your message to paste. Actually, you know what? I might as well just do an example for you so you guys know what's going on here. So let's click Add. I'll just go over here and I'll show you how to do it. I'll copy and paste. Sometimes in Notepad you have to format the word wrap and then go back and do the word wrap again. It's weird or it'll show up all funky in here. Anyway, I'll copy and paste my message. You can upload a picture, which you don't have to, but since you're using it, you might as well. So it's going to upload a picture for you. Name. Mine comes up. Caption, I always put a, I put a favorite quote of mine. If you don't take a chance, you don't stand a chance. And then a description. Uh, don't be ordinary. Become extraordinary. I put that with all the other put that with every message I send out. You can just basically make up a description, whatever you want to put in there. A quote you made up or another quote that you like. And then hit save. So it's going to go in there and save it. Now you can, uh, when you put Jeremiah's marketing in there, you can put an asterisk or a number on the end so you know which message you're sending out. So when you want to schedule it, you want to go to default, Go to whichever one you want to post. Click on that. I always unhighlight timeline over here where under the schedule part. Unhighlight that one. And then hit on the calendar icon. It's weird. This is run on military time. They won't change that either. But whatever. So click on the date you want to run it. Let's say I want to run it at midnight. That would be... Zero, 00 here is midnight. So basically there's your hour, there's your minute, and there's your second. So I got it set up for 1217 at midnight. So if I approve that, 
I'll go ahead and hit schedule. It's going to pop up green box over here. It tells you when you can post again. 2331. Hmm. And you know why that did that? Because I posted on the wrong date. But anyway, that's the gist of it. When you want to cancel postings, go to Activity Log here at the top. And it'll bring up all your pending messages still loading here. And as you can see, there is a red Cancel All Postings. So let's say you have a whole group scheduled and you don't want it to go out. I'll show you here eventually if it ever comes up. Sometimes it's very slow to load. But like I said before, it's a brand new system. There's still a few glitches. They were really bad. I hung in there with them, I gave them a chance, and they've, they're starting to come around, and they're doing pretty good. But anyway, here's all my pending picture posts. So let's say I don't, I don't want to schedule these. I just go up and hit cancel all postings, and voila, they're all gone. So it's just easy as that. If they're already posted, you of course can't cancel them, but if they're pending, you can. Their video feature to post a message with a video isn't up and running yet, so I think that's got a ways to go. Uh, just trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, here's your membership plans. What I was going to show you before. You can do a free membership. Um, you can only have 50 groups in that, but then you go to basic, 290 a month, 300 groups. Uh, Pro is unlimited. Sorry, I thought it was a thousand, but it's unlimited groups for only twelve ninety a month. So, <laughs> pretty good, really. And I would suggest at least do the basic. Free just isn't worth it for fifty groups. So, guys, that really is about it, I believe, for the Toolstar app. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll make another video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer them for you.